high yielding systems are, are what, what we can see per, corn yields produced by growers in the National Corn Growers Contest. We, we saw a lot of 400 bushels uh, produced last year, a new world record at 454 bushels. And, you know, that's compared to a national average in the 170s, so there's a huge yield gap over what most farmers grow and what is possible. And these growers who uh, win the National Corn Growers Contest, they do so by a number of enhanced production practices, but one of the key ones is better management of nitrogen. Not only do they make sure that the plant has adequate nitrogen throughout its life, they spoon feed it, but in many cases they try to manipulate the form and the source. And I'm convinced that uh, a lot of what's happening here is that they're increasing the amount of nitrogen that the corn plant sees as ammonium. It doesn't take much, and that gives them the potential for more kernels, heavier kernels, healthier plants, and a higher yield. So growers that are after high yields, uh, enhanced ammonium supply is one of the factors that I think plays a very large role. Sulfur is widely overlooked as an important uh, mineral nutrient. Uh, seeing more and more cases of sulfur response, this is because of, of cleaner air. Uh, le less sulfur that uh, is, is a co-product of uh, fertilizers. So sulfur is the, uh, often, the, often the missing link, a widely overlooked mineral element. And we've recently tracked the uptake of, uh, of nitrogen and sulfur by uh, high yielding corn plants. And we see that uh, over half the sulfur that the corn plant absorbs is absorbed after flowering, over half. And this is uh, compared to nitrogen fertilizer, where only 25 to 30 percent of the nitrogen the corn plant takes up is after flowering. So in other words, we have to have a season-long supply of sulfur to meet the needs of high-yield corn. And unlike some elements like nitrogen, where the nitrogen can be cannibalized out of the leaf and stalk tissue to meet the needs of the grain, sulfur in the leaf is relatively immobile. And that means that the sulfur that the grain needs has to be absorbed through the root. Season-long uptake of sulfur, and I think this is one of the reasons that, that we're seeing more and more cases of response to uh, uh, sulfur in, in, in corn plants. We're seeing a lot more cases of actual sulfur deficiency. We showed up this year, and uh, especially in continuous corn, where we have a lot of residue that immobilizes nutrients. And those, uh, those deficiencies show up at an early age. We actually verified that with tissue tests. And so uh, when you're deficient in sulfur from an early age, you're probably going to be deficient season long. In cases where we applied some uh, sulfate fertilizer, we do not have these deficiencies. So a deficiency, the symptom is a clear sign that that nutrient is not available in the, in the amount that's needed for optimum growth.